Hello everybody and welcome back to Outward. Robert Rambles here and thanks for joining me today. We are looking for a bandit camp in North Shishanis. And kind of operating under the assumption that it's this. We did stop off over at the Cabal of the Wind Tower, picked up a passive skill and a new elemental boon which we actually have on right now. And it looks like it might be Decay Defense? Or is that coming from an item? Oh, here we go. Rage. Weapon Impact plus 25%. So that's what we're getting right now from that. I don't know if we want to fight that thing, but why not? Come on, let us target it, you know. Whoa, let's unlock. And let's head back to this. It's a little fast for us. A little fast. That's gonna help. So is that. Let's get a read on him here. Are we losing? Oh no. Cardio. Most important thing in Outward. Most important thing in your life. Cardio. Nothing useful. Horror chitin sells for quite a bit, I think. Okay, well... That was a fun little exercise. I meant to have the sword out. Well, we didn't quite get there that time either. Let's just cast this and heal up. here. Definitely don't need any of those in our pockets. This is also heavy, perhaps? Okay. We need to buff back up. Um, I'm expecting if this is the fortress that everything in here is obviously going to be hostile. And this is as northwest as we get. And it's the only thing marked on the map, so... Kinda hoping this is it. Now I think we've we've been in here before. This is the corrupted tombs. 
So, where in the hell is this bandit camp? Hmm. Very strange. I doubt this is anywhere we need to be. It's also a Wendigo in here. Definitely don't need that. All right, let's think about this for just a minute. This literally says bandit camp. Doesn't say ruins, so maybe this is the ancient ruins then. This qualifies as ruins and maybe the camp is somehow further to the west. So really, all I can hope for at this point. So let's stick with that concept. Oh, hi, I see you. Do you see us? Yeah, you do. Oh, shit. Okay, well. I mean, we know this. We're just gonna get clobbered on. Alright, I really would rather not die to this stupid thing. But maybe that's what's gonna happen. They have such a large aggro radius. And we're never ready with all of our boons. Alright, how do we get this thing... To be... Oh nice, he can't get through the tree. There we go. Alright, this is what I want. You know, because I think we're going to have to get in here. Okay, if we could like get some kind of speed going on, then we'd be great. Right, we're gonna die. Definitely. Definitely gonna die to this thing. Sweet! There we go. I hate them. I hate them. Now where the heck are we? Um... Well, we're just here. We're grabbing up a bunch of garbage, apparently. Alright, well... It's one way to fail. At least these guys saved us. Let's, uh... Let's get an hour's sleep. Let's, like, leave the... Stupid fishing rod, maybe. I wish I could. Now I have to put this somewhere else. Or have a hell of a time getting in here, apparently. Sweet. My least favorite monster, besides the black chocobo, is any kind of mantis that can hurl anything at me with some kind of like gentle homing attached to it. It's pretty pretty annoying. Alright, let's uh let's head back out. We now know we have to head much further west and maybe we can circumvent the mantis. It's our best chance. And so when I say I want some more mob density, I don't mean like drop a pack of mantises. And maybe if you do that Scale them down a little bit. Maybe I should be able to target them if they can target me. So really all that I ask is if the monster can target me with an ability that I kind of have a similar range and I can step in a little bit and then target them. Unless they're going to run up. Now if they aggro and run up to us, that's absolutely fine. That guy was way off in the distance. Nope, we don't want to be back here. I'm just going to avoid those guys. So I don't really see a good reason to fight anything at this point.
Get all of our health back. This thing. So I don't even think we can, uh... I don't even think we can get over there from here. I don't know what's happening to us. Apparently we've stepped in a bad spot. Uh, I think... I think we're not going this way. Which is kind of incredible. I could have swore that when Arissa was talking to us, she mentioned going through Ghost Pass. Yeah, I really don't know about that. Oh, good. Well, we know better than to stop and fight this guy, so... I guess there's absolutely no reason for us to be up here at all. We got a couple skills from the... trainer over here, that was about it. But I could have swore she said Ghost Pass, and it looks like uh, we're not going to get there this way. Or something. Now let's see if we can uh, easily get out of here. Doubtful. Can't interact with this on this side. Let's see. This does it. All right. And that's not opening for us, so we're going the long way. Good on that, thanks though. Pleased to report the lone hyena is still in pursuit. Not going to fight him. We could, um, probably blow him up. There we go. I guess if he was never going to drop aggro, that's probably the best way to deal with it. And he clearly wasn't going to drop aggro anytime soon.
Oh, uh, what do we attract? A couple of, uh, jerk holes. Okay. No? Yep. Come to me, sheep. There you go. And for my trouble, I'll take anything useful that you have. Which is not a whole hell of a lot, so... Thanks for nothing, bandits. And so if this is the bandit camp, we've been here many times. This is where we actually got this backpack that we then never replaced. That was back near the beginning of the game. But every indication points to the fact that this is where we need to be. They did describe it as a wooden fort, so... There we go. Montcalm Clan Fort. So, if we remember the name of things, that'd be helpful. Or if the name was actually on the map instead of Bandit Camp after we've discovered it, which we had already discovered it. Now, yeah, so we've cleared this, but I'm pretty sure people are going to be respawned. I don't know if the objective is just to murder everybody, like it usually is, or what? Convince them. Like, to make peace. Okay. So, how would we go about convincing them if most of them are aggressive? Maybe we look for somebody who seems to be in charge. Question being, how many of them will we have to kill... ...before we find somebody who's in charge? Head up here. Uh, this guy is not aggressive, but he's also not very talkative. But we may be on the right track. Why does someone from Sierzo dare come here? Be, th be thankful we have a truce. We have nothing but hatred for your people after what you've done to us. Uh, I need you to agree to the peace talks. Why should we? Did the Blue Chamber consult us before going to war? Did they care when one of our town... Or our Wait. Did they care when one of our own was poisoned? We know it was Rissa's doing. The ghost from the tunnels told us. They tell us everything. They keep us safe. They know it was Rissa's doing. We want them to burn until they understand. They tell us that Levant burns the eastern tribes, that the blue chamber suffers. I say good. We want them to burn until they understand what it's like to lose those you care for. Uh, you don't know that if Levant's army, army reaches your tribe, you, you do know that if they reach your tribe, they'll burn you to the ground, right? A few ghosts won't protect you. Uh, let's go with that one. Trying to scare us? Why would Levant attack us? We haven't raised our weapons against them. They need supplies, and you belong to their enemy. They don't care about the details of your feud with Sierzo. They'll destroy your tribe and pillage your lands. We welcome them to try. Our guardians will feast on Levant's soldiers if they dare set foot in our lands. Let's see. Undead are addicted to whatever life they can steal. Even if they wipe out Levant's 
army, they'd be so high on stolen life that they'd attack you out of instinct. I can't refute that. We agree to hmm. declare peace with Levant. Hey, we got him. And yeah, we didn't have to kill him. We can't put our fates in the undead if their hunger grows out of control. We agree to declare peace with Levant, but you must get the Chamber Lords to send us help. The ghosts will come devour us if we stop feeding them. Okay. Be gone from here. My patience has its limits. All right. Well, sorry it took so long. Glad we were able to finally find him. I don't suppose he has anything useful. No. And then I think we just have to go to Monsoon next. Yep, go to the temple in Monsoon in the Hallowed Marsh. So that requires leaving here and leaving Sierra once again. We didn't have to fight anybody in here, thankfully. And now we can hopefully get out without fighting anybody. And next time we'll be over in Monsoon. We'll talk to Rissa there and see what comes next exactly. Seemingly was easy to convince that guy to help us sue for peace. Uh, he just had to be threatened with the possibility of being destroyed over and over and over again, so not too bad. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support, I really appreciate it. Take care and wish me luck.